guys, I'm Arnath and welcome back to Playtech TV and today we'll be introducing these new Haswell CPUs which are the fourth generation of Intel's line of processors and we'll be comparing them with the previous Ivy Bridge units and we'll be testing their processing power and also the integrated graphics solutions. The previous Ivy Bridge used the HD 4000 series and these new Haswell CPUs use the new HD 4600 series. So technically we should see a significant increase in performance in these latest Intel CPUs. So today we have selected three of the new Haswell CPUs. We have the Intel i5-4430, which is one of the lower end solutions. And then we have the Intel i5-4670K, which is the higher end of the i5 range of CPUs. And then we have the i7-4770K. And we'll be testing all of these CPUs against the previous Ivy Bridge 3770K from the i7 range. So for the previous Intel processors, for the non-K version CPUs, you can still do a little bit of overclocking by adjusting the multiplier depending on which motherboard that you have. But for these new Haswell CPUs, you are restricted to the K version CPUs only if you want to work with the multiplier. So if you're serious about overclocking, be sure to get a K version CPU. So a new innovation for the Haswell CPUs is the FIVR, which is an abbreviation for a fully integrated voltage regulator. And this basically allows the CPU to regulate its voltages to a much finer degree, which keeps voltage ripple to an absolute minimum. And the benefit of this is that a motherboard will no longer require an external voltage regulator, which will effectively lower its cost. So unfortunately, with every good comes a bad, and in this case, the integrated voltage regulator adds more heat to the thermal output of the CPU, and it also raises the TDP. And using examples, the previous 3770K had a TDP of 77 watts, and the new 4770K, which we have here, has a TDP of 84 watts. So one of the major innovations which is to be seen in some future Haswell processors is the new Iris integrated graphics solution. Now we don't have these in stock at the moment, but they are said to have much better performance than the previous HD series integrated graphics. So now we're going to show you a specifications list of all the CPUs we'll be testing head to head. So please feel free to pause the video if you wish to take a closer look. So for our Haswell test bench, we'll be using the Gigabyte GAZ87X D3H motherboard. We'll be using 8GB of G-Skill Ripjaws X RAM. We'll also be using the different Haswell CPUs along with a 120GB Corsair Force GT SSD. And as far as the Ivy Bridge platform goes, we'll be using the same hardware but with a different motherboard which is the ASUS P8Z77 VLK. So based on our results, the Haswell CPUs weren't too much better than the previous Ivy Bridge. The 4770K was slightly faster in SuperPi and it had a slightly higher score in Cinebench over the 3770K. So I guess it's safe to say that the Haswell was only about a 10-15% to 15 increase in performance. So within the Haswell CPU range in 3D Mark 11, the 4770K had a slightly better graphics score than the 4670K, but it had a much better physics score. So if you're just going to be playing games, then the 4670K is the way to go, but if you're going to be doing intense video editing and photo editing, then the 4770K is your best bet due to its hyper-threading. The Intel Haswell CPUs use the new LJ1150 socket, so if you're looking to upgrade to these, then you will need a new motherboard which uses a Z87 platform. So come into Playtech New Zealand and let our friendly staff show you this product. We have the Haswell CPUs in stock and we have some new Z87 motherboards. So be sure to come in to check those out. So thanks for checking out our video of the Intel Haswell CPUs. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Playtech TV.